this time. I think we're live, PA. Yes. <laughs> Hello everyone, Ryan Donovan here with my beautiful girl Pia Agnes Donovan. Hi. How old are you now, Pia? Eight. <laughs> She's eight years old. So we are, today we're going into, um, and my team and I were reading The One Thing uh, again. This is the year of focus, and part of the year of focus is understanding the importance of repetition and going through and not just like blowing through information. So we're reading The, the One Thing, show them the book. Pia, can you turn to page... 84. We just finished part one, and my favorite chapter so far, or in this book so far in, uh, in part one, is chapter nine, which is the first part is about the lies that mislead us in our life. And so chapter nine is big is bad. And so that myth is, and I'll start with a quote here, and then we'll go over some of the nuggets from this chapter that really stood out to me. Um, here's the quote. It says, we are kept from our goal not by obstacles, but by a clear path to a lesser goal. So really the cool thing about this chapter is about how, how big are we thinking? It says big is bad is the title of the chapter. So basically it goes into talking about the limits that we set on our own life and, and, and how we have these, uh, these false limits that we put on ourselves. In fact, one of our team affirmations is I am limitless because we really are. So Pia, let me ask you a question. If you were to think about your life, do you or would you set any limit on what you can accomplish in life? Yeah. You would? I guess. <laughs> or could you accomplish anything you put your mind to? I can accomplish anything I put my mind to. Yes, you can. Can you say that with more conviction? I can do. <laughs> What's the affirmation? I can accomplish anything. I... Yeah, I can I... do anything I put my <laughs> mind to. <laughs> you know it. So we're in the camera right now, so we're having some fun. Uh, so anyway, it says here, do you know what your limits are? No was the reply. This was a question that went into uh, in, the, in the story here. So I said that it seemed the question was irrelevant. No one knows their ultimate ceiling for achievement. So worrying about it is a waste of time. What if someone told you that you could never achieve above a certain level? That you were required to pick an upper limit which you could never exceed? What would you pick? A low one or a high one? I think we know the answer. What would you pick, Pia? <laughs> You would pick a high one, that's right. So uh, basically, put it this situation, we would all do the same thing, go big. And why is that? Go big or? Go small. Or go small. <laughs> go big or go home. We want to go big, right? Oh yeah, we see oh, a big gator right there, right behind us. We'll show you the gator here before we top off the video. So going big is the, really the focus in this. And, and going big really starts in your thinking. So. You know, let's make sure our thinking is big first. We're going to go big with that. So I'm going to show you this image in this book because this is a really cool picture. And I posed the question in the beginning. It says, how big is your box? And hopefully it's not flipped around for you since I'm doing this selfie video. It might be. But if it is, I'll snap a picture and put it in the comments. So how big is your box? And basically, if you think big, you act big, and you succeed big. So make sure that your thinking starts there. Your thinking is big. So and since you... Since what you do is determined by what you think, how big you think becomes the launching pad for how high you achieve. So keeping it short and sweet, we're just going to get you guys thinking bigger today, dreaming bigger, thinking bigger, doing bigger, and succeeding bigger. <laughs> That's right. Awesome. Thank you all for joining us this week. I'm going to turn the video around if I can so you can see Hank, our friend in the backyard. I actually won't let me turn it around. Shoot. Well, let's go out here, Pia. You want to go say hi to Hank? Sure. Let's go show everybody Hank. All right. Hopefully this works this way. Watch where you're stepping. All right, so we have Hank the Tank in our backyard. I don't know if you can see him. Probably not. He looks probably really small on the camera, but he's over there. He's getting some afternoon sunshine. But anyway, it's really not scary living with gators, is it, Pia? No. No. We We've learned a lot about them, and they actually they stay away from people. So they're really cool. Anyway, that's it. Sorry to drag this one on. But remember, think big, act big, and you will succeed big. So any limitations that you set or that you set on yourself are going to turn up in your life. So make sure you're thinking big and going big. All right, take care.